Back in early 2009, Apple announced the ability to connect up external hardware devices to the iPhone. And I thought that's kind of my moment of, hey, there's opportunity here. And being from Calgary and also working in the music or the, uh, the oil and gas industry in the past, I, I saw an opportunity for connecting oil and gas to remote devices to the iPhone. I eventually exited the company I was with and, and sat down and started looking at what I could do as a business. And uh, my friend Demetrio here, I, I had him get involved too. We started looking at what the possibilities are as an oil and gas service company. So we started sitting down, throwing, throwing around ideas for the oil and gas services. As a, uh, potentially, I mean, Calgary, what do you, what do you expect? But uh, we very quickly, in a very short time, put a bunch of product ideas together. Products of devices that, are, that we could connect to with the, with the iPhone. And uh, then we got into, you know, this could be a product company, possibly. And then we started addressing Dimitro's passion. Dimitro is a professional musician, and we thought, music industry. Something about um, the iPhone was always intriguing, and it was um, an open market. It was, it was something brand new. We'd seen some products that could, could use this technology, music technology, in the iPhone, but there wasn't a whole lot out there. And with Apple opening up the uh, external devices to us, then, then we thought, well, let's, let's try something with music. And uh, it, it could use some of my knowledge in, in music. I, I run a recording studio, and I've done a lot with synthesizers, and this was just a kind of a new way to do things. We actually were approached by the president of the MIDI Manufacturers Organization, which is the, the body that handles the standard that we're working with, and uh, kind of had an aha moment with him that we were, we were starting to take the vintage gear and the, and the newer stuff and making them work together, bridging them together. And there, there's a lot of potential there. People like me, we have a lot of old synthesizers and electronic instruments and uh, we don't want to, as Mike said, we don't want to forget those because we've invested a lot in them, we've invested a lot of knowledge into them and we still want to use them because they're still creative to us. And some of these new tools just make them creative again. So our first product, which we started shipping in uh, the summer of this year, of 2011, is iConnect MIDI. And it uh, essentially is, is the central communication hub to all the existing electronic mu musical gear. And it brings in also the iPads, the iPhones. It is the very first device of its kind. And it actually is based on patent pending technology as well. We actually have a plan for having four products in in the market, in the music industry market, by the end of 2012. Of course, we're going to try to keep these wonderful handheld devices that are really entering the market strongly now, and the musicians are just eating up, in mind as our primary interface. We're a startup company, right? So it, 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 takes, a, it takes a little bit of effort to, to even just get the initial partnerships and, and relationships you need to, to, to produce a product. We've got our patent technology that we're building on. All the stuff we're building on uh, and focusing on the music industry as so a targeted industry. It gives us a one point to work on. We can take the technology and adapt it to other verticals, such as medical or oil and gas energy. We can go back to what we were looking at there. For me, this is something new. This is something that I haven't seen before, and it'll maybe make me use my tools in a different way. Um, and so that's inspiring. That, that makes me inspired as a, as a, as a, a, a creative person and uh, to make something that somebody else may not have created before. It's a quality product. The musicians like the quality. It's, it's, it's robust. It's upgradable. We made sure that we address as much of, of the needs as possible in the one device. And if you're rushing to other markets, other industries and so forth, you're not going to be able to do that kind of quality. And we're also following up with our customers. We, we're getting regular accolades from our customers saying, that's the best service I've ever had in a company.